it was good everybody um let me let you know what's going on so i got this hard drive it's not here it's not working i had a lot of footage that i was going to edit i got like six days off and i was going to start talking about some stuff and just making a couple of little videos nothing crazy you know i haven't really been making crazy videos um i remember when i used to make a video every day every day every day every day every day you know you have these this ambition in you 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 ins something inside of you inspires you to motivate yourself every day like i say all the time and i would be out there with my drone controller making drone footage um recording stuff you know i got mad lenses i got mad lenses i got little devices you know Where, where's this little thing put this right here so you put this right here and this can make like the the phone you connect it like that and it makes it rotate you do a nice little time lapse but the whole point is that um now my hard drive is not working it, it, it doesn't show up I always have a lot of footage that I don't use and I always have a lot of ideas that I don't use and I have a lot of videos that I don't upload because some videos are just more personal for me and they're not uh, about things that will probably satisfy the regular people. It's like it's like personal stuff. Hopefully, if I ever pass away, my family could retrieve them. Some people could retrieve them because videos are about ex-love life and like messages if I'm dead, which is kind of weird. But that's just who I am, you know. Like I just posted a video today. My homegirl sent me a video of a daughter because she wanted to talk to me, so I edited the video the way I wanted to edit it, and I called it whatever I wanted to call it. It is my way of expressing myself. Is it's the way of showing my art. Like I wanted to do a, basically a video describing of what I think is art and stuff like that. But getting back to the hard drive doesn't work. It's it's crazy when you have motivation in you that you build this motivation to start working again and there's always an obstacle in life there's a lot of obstacles with a lot of the things that we go through right now we're going through the coronavirus and people are paying attention about being locked in their houses and they don't really understand that there's a crisis you know there's always a lot of obstacles in life you know but you got to be prepared for them like quarantines for me I love it because it's what I do all the time I'm always in house I'm always to myself I don't really hang out with a lot of people not a lot of people, a lot of people fuck with me, but a lot of people don't. Like, I'm not in and out with, like, a friend every day or every week or let's meet at the bar. It's just not who I am. So this is noticed a lot of who I am, and it's verified my claims to me. Like, you know, a lot of people, some people are on employment, and some people, they could get by, you know? But some people are just getting by with the checks, and, you know, we're in a tricky situation in life and I just really don't think that a lot of people are seeing exactly what's happening. When this happened and I knew it was serious and I had the coronavirus, I was situated. I was literally situated. I even made some drastic decisions like I had a little bit of debt, not a little bit of debt. I had a lot of debt. I, I just took it completely off and I still got money to get by just in case something happens. I notice a lot of people don't have that. My friend constantly keeps telling me that I should talk about one of my investments on my channel and um, I think about it but um I don't, I don't really think people enjoy economics or finance, you know, they don't really, people say that they care about their money, but they care about showing off their money, you know, they care about, um, people care about what people show in the outside, not what people are in the inside, that's like the same thing I think about with money, the same thing I think about with people who want to be something, like, you know, there's people who want to be Kobe Bryant and there's, there's people who have actually tried to be Kobe Bryant and put in the hard work. Like I love to work out and even my workout ethnic is not as good as it used to be. And I notice those things and there's just people who just go hard and there's people who don't. So this whole video is like basically talking about obstacles in your life and there's always going to be obstacles in your life. They're, they're just, they're just going to be here. They're going to always present themselves in every aspect of your life in every single aspect of your life obstacles are going to pre present themselves but you have to figure out what is the art in you that 
blossoms. What I mean by that is that every trait is an art. Boxing is an art. You know, my friend, he painted this. That's an art, you know. He took this regular thing and painted it. That's an art. Driving is an art. Cooking is an art. It's just not painting like my niece does. This is our garage. Let me show it to you. This is this used to be like this is where she used to paint. You know, Mariana made that for me. You know, my my niece is an artist. She does a lot of things, but she lives in California now. And it's kind of crazy that she's an artist and never really noticed that we were all kind of artists. My mother does hair. That's an art. Who, which women doesn't? Which woman doesn't want to get pretty? So these are things, you know. That's not the middle finger. Anyways, like I'm just saying, there's a lot of obstacles in life. There's a lot of obstacles in life. A lot of things that are happening. Not everything is good. Like right now, the situation is not easy for a lot of people. But why always concentrate on the negatives and the things you can't control? Concentrate on the things you can control. It's it's precious seeing the bright side of things, man. I think I picked the best name for my channel because I really have no niche. I really don't care if I do something amazing to other people like a billion trillion followers. Yeah, I would like to get paid for doing this and like to be appreciated in that way. Yeah, I would like to have a Patreon, but I don't set those things up because they're not in me. You know, I could only express the the true things about me so i pick like the perfect title for m my thing because there is no niche it's just it's just me and it's just my outlook at life like coronavirus when i said to everybody i told everybody i got it it was actually to just let people know and let them know that it, it exists and it's not a hoax you know that it's real just that it's real and just take care of yourself and also, that I'm just going to make it out of it. I, I had some little trouble times com for my age. But my age is the one that is struggling the most. Look, I have an obstacle. My, my thing doesn't work. I have no footage. I have so much footage. I wanted to do something about a, a vision board. But that was a video you probably never see. Because I make a lot of videos that you guys just never see. Um, yeah, you know, not everything you want to express. And... It's not even that I don't want to express it because I really don't care for some things you just don't put out there because people will be like, oh, you bugging. Why are you thinking about this? Why are you thinking about that? <laughs> I think about the things I think about. But I also, I don't really care about the out, out, outlash of other people. But I, 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 at a certain point, you know, people believe that you should let go of things and leave it in the past. I, I, feel, I feel that nothing, nothing you truly love, nothing you truly care about, you leave it in the past. If, if you wanted to be a baseball player and you didn't make it, something in you tries to either push your son to do it, something in you makes you want to watch games, or you always think about that dream. I, I think you should always imagine it. I think you should always keep your past close. And if it has to do with death, if you lost somebody, understand that time is never going to make it right. Just every single day you try to get a little bit better because you know that that person who passed away loved you and that's what they would want for you. You know, you know, you have to constantly evolve every day. So, so you should be a, a walking contradiction. <laughs> it is the truth. I'm not the same person I was yesterday. I'm not the same person I was a second ago. So look, I got a little chubby. I was getting really fatigued. I was working hard very hard and I had physical problems inside I knew I did something was wrong with me I swear it was the coronavirus you know I lost 16 pounds now I could, I'm trying to lose another 13 I'm not doing what it takes to lose it but I'm doing the fasting part I'm doing the me part more I am I'm working less I worked 80 hours last week for the both weeks 80 hours like 43 minutes like I'm gonna tell you something that's not a bus driver. It felt amazing. I want to see how the check looks. But I don't really care because my finances are intact. So no matter what's going on in life, just situate certain things and, and keep putting check marks on the things that you accomplish and keep going to something new. And understand that 
in situations that you're nervous, that's normal. Usually, going for a new job interview, going on a new date, meeting somebody. Even now, you know, going outside, there's this fear when you're around people. Just know that that's normal because the narrative that is out there. Understand what's going on around us. Don't think that there's just more than one thing going on right now that is not coronavirus. So if you really don't understand those things, you you have to start like just being open-minded to, to a lot of different scenarios. Like, you know, we talk about this coronavirus and it's very dangerous, but we, you, we're going through a worldwide reset of the monetary system, a collapse of our the way that we see money. And a lot of people don't see that. We're going through a supply chain. What does the supply chain mean? Go to the McDonald's and try to order certain things. Go to Wendy's and try to order certain things. They just don't have it. We're also going through um, this thing of being separated from the people we love and being scared of them. We're going through a, a, a lot of things and find yourself, find your art. When you struggle, understand that that's normal. Love yourself, love your art, and keep moving forward in the tough times. And try to be open-minded to everybody else's opinion. Try to be kind, try to be love. You have to be light. You know, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I, I read the Bible a lot. I actually got a class right now. It says God, Jesus was light. God was light, you know. And if you read the Bible, it's, the Bible is cool. I, mean, I just, in my opinion, I'm going to just say it like that. Just let's leave that at that. But the Bible is completely cool because it's, it's, a, it's a mirror of how we should live our lives. A lot of people like to insinuate things and use it for whatever they want but it's a way to live your life it's actually the way I live my life and if something is not coming from love or light it's coming from darkness and remember if you have light the darkness can never take hold of the light it's impossible people might have different opinions about that but back to the to the theme of this, when there's obstacles in your life, any obstacles, anything, anything that you're going through that is tough can only make you stronger, can only make you better. You know, a lot of people are seeing a lot of death in their life right now. It's a part of life, it's natural. So it's, 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 it's a conversation that we should have and the fact that a lot of people don't have those conversations with people shows where we are in humanity and especially if you're a person of faith so many people crying like well, how this happened if you believe in faith you should think that he's with God and also why when something tragic happens only remember this tragic moment remember the good moments of why you're crying for the person who passed. It means that they did something important in your life. So just don't let obstacles ruin your art. Don't let obstacles ruin your love. Don't let obstacles ruin your life, man. I had an obstacle today and I conquered it. And you see, that's just a check mark in my box. A simple one. Set little goals and just every day check out a little box. We are all loved. I don't know if you feel it, but it's everywhere. You just choose sometimes to not see the bright side. I love ya. I love you more. I'll see ya. Hopefully this message is something that resonates in somebody. Um, hopefully makes you go home and hug your your child, say hello to your mother. My mother says something beautiful all the time when you talk in Spanish. She says, we don't got to speak about love. Build phrases and trademarks with the people you love. My cousin told me something today because we have a little time with each other in the morning or I try to make the time because I try to talk to her about my conspiracy theories and what I think about the economy because I, I really enjoy economics 
and just what's going on in the world. And I kind of like bombarded her. But we were talking about her parents, and I said she research, she does a lot of research. And I said, what 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 would it take for you to let that shit go? Because she's always working hard, and she loves it. She's doing what she loves. And she said, if I can spend and like have all the means to just be with my mother and my father. That's what I mean. Know yourself and know your art. When she said that, I loved her a little bit more, or a lot more. It, it actually, I had to get away from her. I said, I'm gonna leave. This conversation's over. Kind of tear came out of my eyes because it was a beautiful, truthful remark of knowing what will make you even get away from the things that you love personally to do what you know is right or something uh, I can't explain all that stuff that I just said but yeah my cousin she hit me right there have a good one I love your mom